Hello and welcome. I'm Harish and in this channel I talk about building anything without coding. Today we are going to look at a new application and an open source alternative to a very popular tool that lets you build conversational experiences that you can embed pretty much anywhere. You can embed it in a Notion page that you have. You can embed it in on your WordPress website if you have one or if you have an HTML landing page you can embed it there or if you have a mobile app you can embed it there as well. The tool is called Typebot and let's get into it and see what we can do with this tool. All right, the tool in context for today's video is called Typebot.io and they claim to be the open source alternative for Landbot.io which is an extremely popular tool that where uh, you can create conversational applications uh, that can be embedded into websites as I mentioned before, pretty much into anything, right? So what can Typebot do? Typebot lets you create conversations using drag and drop uh, interface. This one is very similar to VoiceFlow if you're familiar with VoiceFlow where you can build Alexa skills or uh, Google Assistant applications, right? So this one is also very similar, but there are different options, of course. And Typebot lets you build block based conversations where users can talk to the bot and give information which can be then stored uh, in Zapier or Google Sheets or even a webhook where you can send the data to an external application where let's say you use a CRM where you want to store customer data you can send the data there. So let's look at uh, who is using Typebot right all of these companies are using Typebot and let's see what can be built and where can these conversational labs be deployed right we'll get into an example in the next video that i will record after this but today we are looking at what what typebot is just get a quick intro to the platform and see what can be built and what are all the options available where can they be deployed and what are the competitors what are the pricing uh, of the tool and then jump into actually learning to build uh, using typebot.io so as you can see conversational labs uh, are already popular they've been popular for quite a few years now and typebot is one platform which lets you build conversation apps for free yes you heard that right there is a paid plan but uh, you get unlimited bots unlimited blocks uh, using which you can build conversational apps for a free account as well but there will be uh, catches where the logo of the platform cannot be removed and so on which we'll look uh, at a later part in this video but the significant difference uh, of conversational apps is to avoid forms which look mundane and boring uh, but move to a, a much interactive interface where you are talking to a bot and responding to a bot and bot is also answering your questions back right so that's that's the uh, example and let's quickly try the conversational bot as you can see this is how the bot will look like and the form is actually transformed into a more like a conversation where there is uh, interaction with a bot which is talking like a human almost right but you have to also remember that these are commands that you give and you design this layout we'll get into designing but let's quickly look at uh, how this works as you can see this is the quick demo of uh, what a conversational bot is and what options you have you can give multiple options for a question and get the user's response and store it somewhere else right so yeah as you can see this is an example let's quickly move on to the pricing right what is the pricing of the tool itself so the as i mentioned before there is a free plan any tool that has a free plan is my favorite because that lets you try the tool first and then uh, see if you want to invest some money into it for the features that you really need right as you can see it allows uh, unlimited type bots unlimited responses no limitations on responses you can get as many people to try out your apps and get responses from people and also allows webhooks so that you can send this data to external platforms right let's say you use active campaign for sending emailers or mailjet for sending emailers or you use uh, let's say zapier where uh, you are linking with other platforms and want this data to be sent to other platforms through zapier you can do that all of that is possible in a free account and there are also paid accounts as you can see right and now let's get into what are the places where typebot can be deployed right so where can you host this now these are some of the platforms where you can actually host typebot right let's say you have a notion page where you have a 
detailed description about a newsletter that you are running and you want people to sign up you can include an embed type bot into your notion page let's say you are building websites using wordpress or you have a developer who has built a website for you in wordpress you can always embed this as a plugin into your wordpress and show it to your customers let's say you write blog articles and uh, you want to include a subscription at the end or if you want users to get notified about your newsletter in your blog article you can embed this at the end of the blog article as well let's say you have a shopify store and you want to collect customer feedback in your shopify store you can include type bot i will get into showing all of these when we build apps but these are some ideas of where this can be deployed right you can add this into your google calendar you can add this into your webflow website you can add just the link for people to click and create use the bot in a browser in an email also right as you can see you can also add this into airtable where you can add a button inside the airtable and when so whenever somebody clicks on that button you can obviously open up the bot and get feedback from users similarly the other platforms that they support are slack salesforce calendly google drive google calendar na10.io and many more right so we'll get into all these when we build examples of bots using typebot.io but this is a quick and short introduction of what the tool is how what you can build using this tool what is the pricing and uh, as i said this is an open source alternative to landbot which is a very popular tool which also lets you do pretty much the same it's called landbot.io and typebot is the free alternative right and if you found this useful consider dropping a like below and also subscribing to the channel because i am going to upload a series of videos on how to build and deploy conversational apps using typebot and let's see how simple this platform is with that see you in the next one peace